All right, let's get to the good stuff here. We talked plenty of basketball with Amy Audibert. I've been chomping at the bit since uh, Gordon Lightfoot brought us into the segment here. Amy Audibert, for those you who don't know. Who know stomping Tom is? I What's that? Ask you who stomping Tom? Do you know who Stomping Tom is? Mm, That's one for you. I think you may so, have stumped me. I, I think I may have just changed your life. Is that a guy <laughs> or a band? Yeah, no, it's a musician. Stomping Tom. Hmm. That's like. Canada in a nutshell. So there, well, I believe the Gordon way. Lightfoot. Uh, I will put my Canadian knowledge up against yours any day. I've been there three yeah. times. Actually, yeah, go ahead. Don't do that. You're going to embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Audibert is Canadian. And here are all my Canada questions. Well, at least some of them. Uh, is Gordon Lightfoot, the late Gordon Lightfoot, your favorite musician of all time? No. Oh. <laughs> but- Sorry. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be. I mean, the Canadian no, authorities no. may come to get you, but uh, who is your favorite no. artist of all time? Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, interesting. All right. How about your favorite Canadian artist yeah. of all time? Ooh, so that's tough. Um, there's a group called the Bare Naked Ladies, and I love them. They're awesome. I've seen them. I've seen them in concert. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, I like Alanis Morissette. I, I mean, The Weeknd, Drake. I mean, there's so many. I, you know what? There's some great Canadian artists, and they're different genres. So I can't really pinpoint one. But, yeah, I'm not What's your at favorite that. Gordon Lightfoot there's song? Much, honestly, I don't know any. They're, you're going to embarrass me. <laughs> Canadian <laughs> legend. He's going to kill. He's a Canadian <laughs> legend. Gordon. <laughs> he played halftime of the Grey Cup one year. He's a, he's a legend. Oh my gosh! See, like, yeah, yeah. Do you have the Grey as Cup. a as a proud Canadian? Do you have a, a Grey Cup watch party every year? Not a watch party. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. It is entertaining. It absolutely. Do you know when it's on? Do you know when it's on? At least, are you aware of the CFL? And do you know when the Grey Cup is? I know when the big games are, but I'm going to tell you when the CFL lost me. When I first got into television, I went and covered a practice that I was bigger than like half the team. And that made me feel really bad about myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was like, I can't, I can't be watched. I can't do this, you know? Well, <laughs> I just the- graduated from UM where like, I love being around the football guys because I was tiny. And all of a sudden I'm like, Whoa. So yeah, you know, but there's your there's your honest answer. <laughs> <laughs> the co- the coach was looking at Amy, seeing if he could recruit her. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite parts of going to Canada, and you start to see it trickle into the US now, but do you love ketchup flavored potato chips? I do, and I did I I thought I brought some down. You did. did I give you some Alejandro? You did. I did. You did. Yeah. I mean those were Pringles. Those are Pringles because what we've learned over the years is when you travel, chips don't travel well in a bag. They get smushed mm. easily. So um, they do. I try to stay away from chips because they're really bad for you. But I love, yeah, I do love ketchup chips. And anyone ketchup who says chips. they don't, just I, I bet they haven't tried them. It's really hard to try them and not like like them. The ketchup <laughs> chips are fire. Like you take the first bite and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing here. And then all of a sudden you can't get enough of them. I, just, I love the ketchup yeah. chips. I'm, I'm a big fan. Thank um, you. Thank did you, you. buy your uh, <laughs> milk in a bag when you lived in Canada? Yes, yeah, still do. Still hmm. do. Yeah. Kind so of you annoying because you got to cut the, the end. The and... That the bag goes in and then dispenses it? Yeah, there's like these like little containers and they fit perfectly in there. Um, well, not perfectly. You kind of got to jiggle it to get it right down. It's super annoying, but... Oh. I, it's just the way they do it. I don't Interesting. know. Interesting. Fascinated by that. <laughs> yeah. What is your go-to that's gonna order? Be harder, that's going to be harder to bring down for you. What's your go-to order? What's your go-to order at Tim Hortons? I am the worst Canadian. A black green tea, no sugar, bag in. That's it. I'm the worst. <laughs> that's it? No maple donut? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I, again, try to, I mean, the Timbit, they're Timbit. The Timbits are like it. Um, and I love the birthday cake Timbit. But again, I'm pretty good at like, if I go to the drive-thru, I might get one. My dog loves Timbits. So 
Um, he gets the plain one. I get the birthday cake one, and then I get a green tea. Those those are like the munchkins. <laughs> the Timbits are like the munchkins. Yes. Oh yeah, but they're Timbits. They're not munchkins. Come feed on. Your, you, feed your dog donuts, <laughs> Andy. <laughs> Just Timbits. No Timbits. Everybody oh. does. I think that's a Canadian thing. It's funny when you go to the drive-through and you order a Timbit, a plain. If you order a plain Timbit, they'll be like. Is that for your dog? Because no respectable human is going to get a plain Timbit. And they usually don't even charge it. <laughs> they usually don't even charge you for it. So it's just awesome. It's a how many thing. loonies? How many loonies is a Timbit nowadays? Oh, Timbits are like 25 cents. Like, you know, like a but How many one. loonies is that? But, I'm speaking Canadian lingo to you. Uh, well, well, a loonie's a dollar. So four Timbits maybe would be a, do- a dollar, a loonie. But, Solana but said to me, a toonie. Solana, but oh, I didn't even know there was a toonie. I thought loonies was <laughs> all the Canadian a $2 currency. Coin. No, we hmm. have a $2 coin called a toonie, which is so Canadian that they named the toonie two loonies. Perfect. Oh, that's cute. Right. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Solana said to me when you were coming on, please don't embarrass me in front of Amy. I work with her every night. And he has put his head in his hands as I've started with loonies. Now. Oh, it's okay. I've gone too We've far. We've had some special moments on Radio Row, too, where I look down and I'm either going to get fired or I've made everyone <laughs> laugh. I can't tell which one. But then again, I sit beside Jack, so usually I'm not the one that's going to get us in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're far down on the list. Um, Amy Audibert. This was delightful, in my opinion. I'm voting to make her a friend of the program. I don't know if she feels the same way, but this was oh, delightful. Yeah. And I, was I do have more Canada questions. Uh, uh, maybe next week we can all sing O Canada, which is probably one of the greatest national anthems in the world. Do you know what? You, again, you need to talk to Jax about this because he agrees. He, like, he is obsessed with our national anthem. It's so it's the best anthem. It really is. It just hits at all the right well, places. Do you know what's fun? I will say this. I don't know if you've ever watched a Raptors broadcast, but the whole arena sings the anthem. Like the players, Scotty Barnes, like was it when his rookie year when I was with that team, like he learned the words right away. And it's really, I will say that's one thing I think is genuinely cool about when you go to professional sports in Canada usually the whole arena sings the national anthem. And so that is pretty cool because you don't see that all the time. I went to a Blue Jays game last summer and uh, there's some weird Blue no. Jays mascot that sings his own song where you're supposed to sing, take me out to the ball game. Are you aware of this? Oh, no, that's baseball. I don't mess yeah. with the baseball folk. Great, uh, <laughs> great time though at the Blue Jays game. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. I, did you go to like the dollar hot dog night? I went <laughs> to... No, it was a, there, there was like a cookie dough special, believe it or oh. not. It was like a, <laughs> what? It was like a big cup of cookie dough that sounded great in theory and by the second inning. You're like, why am I just gnawing on cookie dough here in the, Ew, in the baseball and it was park? Melted anyway. too. Anywho, <laughs> Amy Audibert, you can listen to her tonight. Heat and Celtics from the Kaseya Center. You can hear the game on 560 WQAM. How'd, uh, how'd we do, Solana? Did we embarrass you? Uh, one too many loony questions uh, for my liking, but it did lead to the toonie. We learned about the toonie. Was yeah. phenomenal. I'll drop on Rob Pizzola next week. Yeah, is this Amazing. a one loony yeah. bet or a two loony bet? Just when you think your pockets could get any heavier, they give you a whole new coin. Good stuff. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> so, do you when you're walking around Canada, you have like loonies and toonies in your pocket? Yeah, but they phased out pennies, which I was not a fan about, but I love it now. No pennies. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. And then what's the paper money decision. called? Well, that's just regular. We start at five, five, ten, twenty, fifty, hundred. Oh, so there's no yeah. dollar bills. There's only the loony and the toonie. No. Yes, only loonies and toonies, and um, and no pennies. So wow. Just do it a little different. How about well, that? Wow. All right, I'm gonna. Uh... <laughs> forward you a couple of Gordon Lightfoot YouTube videos just uh, for next uh, for okay. the next appearance. <laughs> the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. I'm, do you listen to lyrics? Like, are you are you into lyricists? Oh, yeah. I'm all about the lyrics. All right. I'm going to send you Gordon Lightfoot, wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. And lyrically, okay. it's, it's, it's the true story of a shipwreck. And the way that he paints the picture through song is mesmerizing. 
So I'm intrigued. All right. Oh, yeah. On that note, Thank I you. leave you. I bid you adieu. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Nice to hear from you. <laughs> there you go. Her final appearance. She is uh, blocking my call <laughs> as we this speak. Is awesome. <laughs> uh, Amy Otterbert, you can listen to her tonight right here on 560 WQAM Heat and Celtics. Four o'clock hour is coming up.